Keith, a uh, 2 0 defeat against uh, Dundalk, but a, a good performance. Yeah, I thought certainly. Um, yeah, the performance was good. Um, first half in particular, I suppose, um, we're disappointed to go in 1 0 down. Um, but I thought we played really well in the first half and we've taken the game to Dundalk. We've played with a bit of tempo and intensity in our play. Um, you know, we created a chance. Their keeper pulls off a good save from a, from a set piece delivery. You know, and. Uh, I'm disappointed with the goal we've conceded, Daryl Horgan, um, and we spoke to the players previously. Um, you know, the they set pieces are really good, Dundalk. You know, and, and Daryl Horgan punished us for, um, you, you know, a bad bit of play. I think, um, I think possibly Dave Mulcahy was uh, impeded in the build-up to the goal. I know there was some, you know, um, some murmurs in the press box or around the ground about um, maybe Dave Mulcahy should have got a red card, but I think quite possibly now I have to see it back. He was possibly impeded prior to the to the free kick being given, but um, it was a bad area to concede, and uh, Daryl Horgan's made us uh, made us pay. Um, it's all about um, the chances that we we, we, we haven't been taken um, the last couple of games against Shamrock Rovers. Although we did get beaten four 0 it could have been a completely different result. How has that impacted uh, both yourself and the players? Well, listen, we haven't created a huge amount of chances uh, second half tonight. Um, you know. We're missing Izzy Akinadi at this moment, um, who, who obviously was a real threat for us uh, last year. hasn't quite hit the hit the ground uh, running this year, but um, you know he has been impeded in a number of games that he's played with a, with an injury. We've Curtis Bourne who can score goals. We've Mark Quigley who can score goals. Um, you know, and, and and certainly goals breed confidence, and winning games breed confidence. And just at the moment, that little bit of luck is isn't going our way. And but I think the players uh, have shown tonight that they they care. That they're, they're trying really hard. Um, they're working extremely hard to try and turn things round and, and, and to you, you know uh, win, win win a match. So um, you know it's a tough game next week up in Finn, Finn Park and uh, you know but we can take a lot of positives out of tonight's uh, display. Um, you know like I said they they'll continue to fight, they'll continue to work hard and um, once we give that once we give 100 percent that's all we can do. And uh, one player that uh, one of the many players tonight who who impressed was uh, Daniel Byrne. How important is it for for the squad to have uh, Dan Byrne back? Yeah, well, listen, Dano has missed 18 months uh, worth of football, and to expect him to come back and be at his uh, very best is, you know, is, is it's uh, asking a little bit much. It was always going to take him 10, uh, 10 games to get 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 going. So even Derek Pender had a long term injury last year. So. Um, you know he's still uh, finding his feet even after 10 games. So um, you know Dan O'Born has proved his uh, versatility tonight by playing that little holding role in the middle of the park, and I thought he done really well. Um, obviously we can use the ball uh, a little bit better, but you know the pitch doesn't help. Um, you know it, 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 it's 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 you know it doesn't the ball doesn't run uh, true on, on on the pitch, and it's it's you know it's not helping our performance. We've had um, a pretty disappointing April. Um, we look on to May now. As you mentioned, we're playing uh, Finn Harps away. Um, realistically, is that is three points that we should be picking up? Well, we have to go there. We're, we're, we'll try and win, um, pick up three points in every game that we play. And that was the intention coming here tonight, although nobody gave us a chance against them, Doc. I think we more than matched them um, throughout the game. They're a good side. Um, they've got players that have uh, played with each other for uh, consistently over a good number of years, and they've they have a habit of uh, winning games and, and dominating the ball. So at two 0 you know, it's quite difficult for us to, to come back into the game then. But um, you know, we've got to we've got to go to Finn Harps, and we've got to um, obviously try and uh, pick up a result, and we'll be going there to win the game. That's for sure. And finally, uh, we were drawn at home to Galway in the second round of the FAI Cup. Is that a game you're looking forward to? Yeah, well, listen, <laughs> it's a tough draw, um, but we're at home and uh, we're expected to win. Um, Galway are wide and high in the league at the moment, so um, you know we've got to. We can only um, the, the draw could have been kinder, obviously, uh, but we can only face what comes out of the, the, the drum, and, and uh, it's Galway, and um, you know we've got to we've got to try and, and obviously get progress to the next round by beating them here at home.